Wes, how would you assess the usefulness of today from the point of view of the team? Uh, it's been an excellent day. Uh, we looked at it, we knew we were going to be batting 90 overs and we wanted everybody to get time in the middle um, for their own form um, going into the, the season when we get back. So it's been a really positive day all round, um, everybody contributing with scores um, and getting valuable time in the middle, so it's been excellent. From your own point of view, a half century and then retired, how did you feel out there? I felt really good today. I was on, on the back of runs on uh, oh, well, a couple of days ago. I can't remember what day that was. Um, it was nice to actually spend some time, you know, leave the ball alone, accumulate runs. Also, obviously, still trying to put the bad ball away. Um, just being able to enjoy time in the middle again, seamers, uh, getting ready for the four day cricket. So I was really pleased with the way I played today. Despite the extra patience you're allowed to play with, the run still came pretty quickly for you today. Are you just an, an aggressive player by nature? Um, I'm a sea ball, hit ball kind of player, but you know I like to be equally aggressive in defence uh, as an attack. Um, and if the ball's there to hit, then I'm looking to hit it for boundaries and against the spin, the same. You know, I don't want to let the bowlers settle against me. And I know that if I can get on top of them, that I can score quickly. And I was probably um, 20 runs, 30 balls, but then turned it around in my second half of my innings when I felt like I got in and I could cash in on some freebies. The, the reason for coming on a pre-season tour as a batsman is to spend some time in the middle. Your first couple of knocks at the beginning of the tour didn't go to plan. Was there, was there any sort of uh, any sort of nerves at that point that you weren't going to get what you wanted out of it? Um, no, not really. It was more frustration. Um, it was missed opportunities. I missed an opportunity here against Leicestershire in the uh, Pro 40 in the first one day game, uh, first 2020 against um, Yorkshire. I nicked uh, an early ball. That that can happen. I mean, I've, I've always backed my own ability and I knew that the runs would come. Um, and I'm glad that they came in the third innings. Um, and that's really settled me down and that allowed me to play with confidence today um, and not put extra pressure on myself. Because um, I know once you do uh, fall out of form, the, the last thing you want to do is put pressure on yourself because uh, you know, it makes it much harder. So an innings um, to get me off the season was, was great a couple of days ago. And I've just cashed in again today, which gives me uh, more confidence for when we get home. And runs in the T20 the other day, followed by runs today. But how's the mindset different as a batsman? Well, it's all to do with um, you know, your scoring areas and your scoring shots. Uh, but it's going to be slightly different for different forms of the game. So if, as long as you spend time preparing right for the game and the format of the game in advance, you give yourself your best chance to succeed. I knew today I would have enough time to leave the ball alone, um, but it's still cash in. Like I said earlier, with the, with the bad balls, so it's more about preparation and, look, and scoring areas. So in a championship game, I'm going to leave the ball, but play the ball straighter. Whereas in 2020, I can um, make make the shot square of the wicket um, with the field field set accordingly. So it's more what, um, realizing what you're going to face and playing the shots um, accordingly. From the team's point of view, we had a little bit of a shaky start to the tour, and then the last few games, it, it's gone really well. What do, you think, what do you think this group of players can achieve this season? What are the ambitions? Um, well, you're right. We did have a, a wake-up call in the first game. Um, obviously, we lost to Yorkshire, which is disappointing, but we fought back and beat Barbados, beat Hampshire in that excellent game. Um, and today, you know, we've put in a solid performance. Um, so it just shows that we are a fighting side. We can um, put in performances when we are back, to, back against the wall. Um, and that will be a, a huge... Uh, advantage for us this season if we can rely on um, fighting. Um, you know, not relying on fighting once we're behind. If we can fight, fight from the start as well, and uh, you know, just I think we'll be a, a work hard team, and hopefully, you know, we won't be easy to turn over. Um, and we're just going to chip away at opposition, especially in Championship cricket, uh, eke out results in that. And then in One Day cricket, I think we could be the opposite, and we could be dynamic. We can uh, beat, beat anybody, I think, on our day. Uh, we've got match winners all through our team. Even though we're a young side, I think we've got the ability on our day to beat anybody in a one-off head-to-head uh, -head game. So you know, I really hope that we can make a quarter-final this year in either competition of the one-day comp uh, comps. Uh, and that would represent a good success or a successful season for us this year. Championship, we just look to aim to improve on last year's fifth position. Um, playing in the same format. Consistency will be key in the, in the championship this year. 
Finally, I should just grab a word with you about that exciting T20 finish the other night. What's going through your mind when, when Mark Footick's bowled a no-ball off the first ball and it's gone for five, and, and then obviously the, the excitement at the end? Well, with seven balls left, they needed 14, and I thought we were obviously favourites to win. And then there was an overthrow, uh, and then it needed 10 off the last over. And then with that, you know, obviously it can happen when you're bowling at the end, the pressure's on you as a bowler. Um, and suddenly, but suddenly they need five off and over with three wickets in hand and they become favourites. So it was almost like we'd lost the game uh, from a winning position and it took pressure off Mark in a way and then he executed his skills perfectly. And it was, just a, it was just a great over. It was a perfect over from him. It was great to be out there, obviously, on the winning team. It was an excellent game because it ebbed and flowed. Um, and obviously we came out in the end and Mark deserves the credit for that because his skills in the last over were spot on. Three bowls, perfect Yorkers in the last over of a, you know, a, a, a final uh, was excellent and he deserves the, the praise he got for that. Thanks, Wes.